Hello everybody and welcome to the Zinsto Career Series. In this video we're going to be going over some help desk level 1 scenarios and tools. Uh, basically this is just a little bit of a career guide. Uh, it shows you uh, some of the intro and basics to being a help desk level 1 or tier 1 technician. Uh, this video is aimed at anyone who is interested in maybe career jumping over into IT or those who are still in school and want to know what they can expect outside in the real world. So we're going to go ahead and get started. This is my technician computer over here as you can see. I have a couple web browsers. Uh, this tool called PDQ Deploy, PDQ Inventory, Putty, and 3C Daemon. Um, this is just a very brief set of tools, but over the upcoming videos we're going to be diving into each of these tools um, a lot more in depth and even adding some tools to this, to this feature set. So what we're going to actually talk about today is this tool called PDQ Deploy. PDQ Deploy is a great tool. I used it in the corporate environment. Um, it's a great way to push out third-party software or even Windows updates even to a large number of computers on your local network. Um, I used it to push out Java updates and Flash updates. I also used it to deploy third-party web browsers such as Google Chrome and Mozilla Firefox. Um, Working in the industry that I was in, we had all sorts of crazy requirements for software. So it was important to make sure that everybody was on the same version um, and didn't matter where they were at, we were able to push it out to them. So in today's video, we're going to be diving into PDQ Deploy. Uh, PDQ Deploy is a tool from Admin Arsenal. And I can, I'll bring up the website here and show you, just so that way you know what you're looking for. Can't actually spell, so we're just going to Google search it. So Admin Arsenal, these are the folks who make PDQ Deploy and PDQ Inventory. So if we go to products here, uh, as you can see, PDQ Deploy integrates it with Active Directory, Spiceworks, PDQ Inventory, and more. Um, this is the big feature right there. Installs to multiple computers simultaneously. And the real-time status is also nice. And when they say it installs just about anything, I find that to be true. Um, I made all sorts of packages and things, and we'll be diving into that more into this series. Um, so what you can do in and even if you're just finding this video and you're brand new in the help desk environment and you want to find a way to improve things within your own company, download PDQ Deploy, give it a try. And in this video, we'll show you how to set it up and how to use it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and minimize that. I've already pre-installed PDQ Deploy. Um, what you just have to do is if you get deploy free mode, just fill in your, per your information here. Uh, first name, last name, email, company name, and you'll get a link to download it. Um, I would recommend in the enterprise environment that you install this on a central server, like a central application server, just so that way if you do have multiple technicians, they can access it as well. Uh, just make sure you're licensed for it, obviously. Um, but other than that, I would re highly recommend it just because if you have it on your personal laptop or your work laptop and you have to go on a trip or you're on vacation or something and somebody needs to deploy some software, not going to not gonna be able to happen. So, <laughs> Alright, let's jump into PQ Deploy. Like I said, it's already pre-installed. You do need administrative permissions uh, to run it and uh, it's going to go ahead and launch here. Now keep in mind this is the first time that I am running it, so we are going to have some additional setup steps to do. 
Alright, so here we go. Welcome to PQ Deploy. Next, we're going to use free mode for this demo and for many other videos. Um, eventually, I will show you how to use the license Prover Enterprise mode and the different feature sets of that. So just click next. Alright, so now it did find my domain and it did find my logged in username. However, this is a standard user account for security reasons. So I've gone ahead and I have created a, a help desk service account called help desk. And we'll find the password. And finish. And that's it. That's literally how you set up PDQ deploy. All right, so here we go. Um, this is the interface of PDQ, PDQ Deploy. Um, we can see the interface is very easy to use. It's, it should look kind of familiar. We have like a ribbon up here, uh, some flat icons, uh, and so forth. And we can see different things from Admin Arsenal, um, you know, how to import a ready to deploy package, create a new package, try PDQ inventory and so forth. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to come down here to the package library or you can also click up here. And this is everything, just increase it here, that PDQ has in their library. Now you'll notice some things like 7-zip, Adobe Air, Adobe Flash, All IE, Adobe Reader uh, 10, 11, Audacity, Classic Shell. See how these are grayed out? This is because we do need to have uh, the licensed version of PDQ to deploy these. However, some things are available without a license, like um, Microsoft.NET Framework for Client Profile. That we can push out, no problem. Um, Microsoft Firefox, set Google as Search Engine. Um, Uninstall as toolbar, but you can see Bing bar is grayed out. Uninstall IE11 and so forth. This isn't a problem. There's still a lot we can do with PDQ deploy. Um, there's actually some websites out there that have uh, pre made packages that work with PDQ deploy free version. So don't think that just because these are grayed out, you're not going to be able to do it. Not true. Um, so just to give you an example, uh, let's see here, I want to find something to install to show you how it works. Uh, Visio Viewer 2010. So I'm going to go ahead and deploy this to, um, to one of my virtual machines. So as you can see, it's 2010. It hasn't been updated in, you know, quite some time here, but that's okay. Yep. So what I need to do is I actually need to create, um, I need to import the package first off. That's the important thing. Uh, you gotta download it. You only have to download it once, and this is why I say put this on a central server. Because if you have PDQ Deploy installed on 15 technicians' laptops, they have to download the packages every single time. Instead of just doing one, you know, having just the package download once, you then have to download 15 times. So that's wasting time and bandwidth. Stick it on a central server save yourself time. But again, we'll cover that later. Alright, so now we have Visio Viewer. It's been imported into our library, so we have it locally. If we go here, yep, there it is. So, as you can see, we don't have any deployments. Schedules is a license feature, and the reach right queue is also licensed, so that's locked. But what we'll do is we'll hit Deploy Once, and we're going to add Computer. So we can either choose our targets from Active Directory, this is cool, it actually goes through and it finds, uh, it searches your Active Directory domain and it finds every computer. So I know that this is 
the PC that I need to install it on. I'm going to hit OK. And so we're going to use the help desk credentials. And if for some reason you accidentally added wrong credentials, or even if your password changes, which it should, you just come up here to edit credentials, hit edit credentials, you can update the password, you can add another account, another domain, etc. Um, okay, so we're just going to cancel out of that. So run as, and that is, you can run as the deploy user, which is this, or if you need to and this is a licensed feature or a feature that has to be enabled through the package, the logged on user, because there is some software that has to run as the user who's logged into the machine. So you can actually select that and it'll run as that user. But for this case, this software does require administrative credentials, so we are going to leave it as default. We could configure email so that way we could get email notifications. This is great if you have a large deployment running. I use it all the time. And uh, and there's also a retry queue. So in case someone's computer's offline or they went to lunch and it's asleep or they're not at their desk or whatever, the retry queue comes in handy quite a bit. So then we've got everything right. We're just deploying to this one PC. We're going to click on deploy now. We can see it's actually going out, it's contacting um, that PC. We can watch down here connecting. And now, because this is a large package, it may take some time, so I'm going to pause the video for now. Alright, so as you can see, it failed. Uh, I tried multiple times. This is because I was stupid. I forgot uh, about some additional settings that need to be changed. So what we're going to do, I'm going to switch back over here to my PC. So what we need to do is we need to change the Windows firewall settings. So we're just going to go to the firewall and uh, we're going to allow a programmer feature through the firewall, change settings. You have to be an administrator to do this. Alright, and so what we need to allow is we need to enable file and printer sharing. We're going to allow this on the domain and home work, home and work networks. And then we also need to allow ICMP exceptions. So we need to allow the inbound echo request. we might be good so I'm just gonna hit OK on this uh, we're gonna switch back to our our technician PC and I'll show you how easy it is redeploy and deploy now so this time it's gonna go back through and try and connect and this time it should it should uh, succeed And then there is also a way to um, to automate this, um, so that way we can just make sure that the firewall settings are on every single computer in our network. That way we don't have to go into the firewall and, and change all those settings. Yep, there we go. You can see right there, one step successful. So it has successfully deployed. So if I switch back over to this PC, and I should see, well, let's go to programs. Yep, there it is, Visio Viewer 2010. So. That's how you install and use PDQ Deploy. Again, this is a instructional video. Uh, things are kind of incomplete, and I will have another video shortly to show you how to do more with PDQ and even show you how to open up 
the required firewall ports through our domain controller using group policy. So thank you for watching. This has been a Zinsto career uh, video. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe, and uh, leave any comments for any technical series that you would love to see. Um, I would love to be able to bring you more uh, tutorials and if you have any suggestions on how we can improve these tutorials that'd be great as well. Alright so thank you and have a wonderful day.